We've been moving around to here at the Kansas City Repertory Theater, and we haven't really explained why we're here in the first place. The rep is starting its 50th season this fall. Patricia McElrath, or Dr. Mac, as she was known, got the ball rolling in an old building at the UMKC campus that had a lot less room to work. No doubt about it, the Kansas City Theater scene is going strong, and a lot of debt is owed to this place for developing talent both on and off stage. They're doing Our Town right now, and some of Our Town's most notable features are its fountains. It's the start of a new series where we revel in their beauty and look at the impact they have on people. It's called My Favorite Fountain. We're at a Volker Fountain. This place is tranquil to me because it takes me back. Right now, you come here, start painting now in 2014. It, it, it's, it's not very long before you are not in 2014 anymore. I've been stopping here for a long time, uh, probably since the very early 70s. Great memories back here. Volker Park, you know, that's what we thought of it, Volker Park. The fountains at Volker Park. It was uh, like Kansas City's own little version of Woodstock. I thought it was the Kansas City culture place. There's a lot of fun, a lot of beautiful people, a lot of uh, everything happening, everything from Moonies, Hari Krishna, to, to occasional police. It's actually a great, great looking fountain kind of spread out a little bit, but it's a beautiful thing to paint. Looking for something, you're using the fountain in the foreground and a couple of juxtapositioning it with the Nelson in the background. There are a lot nicer fountains in the city. I mean, the J.C. Nichols fountains, probably the most you know, unique, elaborate things around, but it doesn't have the memories. It's, it's, it's very nice and uh, it's tranquil. 